This Mass is offered for the following intentions. Birthday blessings for Simone Pinto, Roseanne Denise, Usha Almeida, Marriott Menezes. Birthday remembrance for John Ferrao, Honorat Cardoz, for the souls of Aubrey Fernandez, Anna Clara Lopez, Royce D'Souza, Thomas Pascal D'Souza, Almira D'Souza, Diego Tixera, John Baptist Zuzat, Rose Zuzat, George Albert Fonseca, Sister Stanislaus and Sister Aurelia, Sophie Montero, Kingsley Barrow, and the departed members of the Barrow family, Lawrence De Silva. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing hallelujah. Yahweh's people dance for joy, oh come before the Lord. And play for him on glad tambourines, and let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountain side. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with we begin today the novena and preparation for the celebration of the birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And our theme of this year focuses on Mary and the Word of God. Today, very especially, we shall look at the Annunciation in the life of Mary. We have gathered around the Eucharistic table with praise and thanksgiving in our hearts. Let us seek God's pardon and forgiveness for all our sins. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, Mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. God of power and might, giver of every good gift, pour into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring him with those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you 
by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with the cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Our response is, the Lord comes to judge the earth. Kindly listen to the tune. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Together. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. All together. The Lord comes to judge the earth. For the Lord is great and highly to be praised, to be feared above all gods. For the gods of the nations are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. All together. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as was his custom, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and he stood up to read. And the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovering of the sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke well of you, and marveled at the gracious words that were coming from his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? And he said to them, Doubtless you will ought to be this proverb. Physician, heal yourself. What we have heard you did at Capernaum, do here in your hometown as well. And he said, Truly I say to you, no prophet is acceptable in his hometown. But in truth I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heavens were shut up, for three years and six months, and a great famine came all over the land. And Elijah was sent to none of them, but only to Zarephath, in the land of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow. And there were many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha. 
And none of them was cleansed, but only Naaman, the Syrian. When they heard these things, all in the synagogue were filled with wrath. And they rose up and drove him out of the town and brought him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, so that they could throw him down the cliff. But passing through their midst, he went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. From the text of the Gospel today, we know that our Lord used scripture in order to situate his ministry and his personality. So while he was in the synagogue, he took from the scroll of the prophet Isaiah and he spoke those words of promise. Every Jew, my dear brothers and sisters, refer to scripture in their prayer and their reflection. And we know that over the years, ever since they came out from Egypt to the promised land and built up a kingdom there, they were accompanied by God and they recognized God's presence in their journey. And it was not a bed of roses. They had their experiences, joyful ones, not so joyful ones. They suffered, they were victorious. But all these experiences are recorded for them in their scripture. Our Lady herself was a Jewish woman. And as she prayed, she also focused on scripture, on the word of God. And we know that as a woman of faith, as a woman of deep prayer, she had complete hope in God who would bring about a change in the lives of the people of Israel. So at the Annunciation, when the angel came and announced to her those words of grace and told her about the Lord's invitation to be the mother of his son, Mary, as young as she was, Mary had her queries, she had her doubts, but through the words of the angel, she was able to affirm her responsibility, her readiness to be the mother of God's son. This was the faith that she had, and this is the faith that all of us are called to have as disciples of Jesus and children of God. Like Mary, we too go through our experiences, our ups and downs, our struggles, our joys, our difficulties. And very often when we read the word of God, we are able to see how God accompanies his people through their difficult times. That God never abandons, that God is merciful. And this is the faith with which we must journey. This is the faith with which, as disciples of the Lord and as devotees of Mary, we must always have the hope that even in our difficult moments, even in our times of joy, the Word of God continues to inspire us. Mary was aware of how God had touched the lives of the people of Israel. And therefore, now it was in her person that she would bring out or bring forth into the world the word of God in the person of Jesus. And this indeed was not just a privilege. It was a matter of responsibility. And we know that throughout the life of the Lord, Mary was present. Mary was the one who led those stewards at the wedding in Cana towards Jesus. It was her faith that her son would bring about 
that joyful moment, that day of favor, as he speaks about in the gospel today. So brothers and sisters, like Mary, we too are called to read the word, to practice it, to reflect on it, and to be nourished each and every day of our lives. The word of God presents to us the struggle of the people of Israel. And at the same time, it reminds us that God is with us. He is the Emmanuel. So let us believe in this as we live our lives and focus on the word of God and its inspiration for us. God's word is a lamp for our steps and a light for our faith. Let us place before him our petitions trusting in his word. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. All together, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, bishops, priests and religious, that they may always guide and, go and govern the church based on the sound principles of faith found in God's word. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us who have begun this Navina, that we may find solace and strength in the message of the Bible and thereby live our lives as children of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, that even though we have been away from each other for a long time, our bonds of fellowship may always be rooted in the message of gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those affected by the pandemic, that the word of God may be a source of solace and consolation in difficult times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world, especially in Afghanistan, that God's spirit of healing may fill every corner of the earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Thank you, loving Father, for listening to our prayers. We are confident that you will grant them to us through the intercession of our blessed Mother. Amen. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts, we love you, take our lives. Oh Father, we are yours, we are yours. Yours as we stand at the table you set, yours as we eat the bread our hearts can't forget. We are the signs of your life with us yet. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh Father, we are yours, we are yours. Let us pray that your sacrifice of mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacred offerings, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For justice through your beloved Son, you created the human family. 
So also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all creatures serve you, and the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we do extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with us. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord is near to all who call on him. Rest in him alone. Rest in him alone. He will guard your coming and your going. He will be the one to guard your life. The sun will not harm you in the daylight, and the Lord will watch you through the night. The Lord is near to all who call on Him. Rest in Him alone. Rest in Him alone. The Novena Prayer O Most Holy Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus, Queen of the Universe, and Refuge of Sinners, we greet you as we prepare to celebrate your birthday. Your faith in God and obedience to His will needs to be imitated by us. We know you will commend all our petitions to Jesus as you did at the wedding at Cana. We are assured that Jesus at your request will do what is best for us. We pray for ourselves, for our families and friends, and for our parish and society, especially for our different needs which we now place before you. May you receive our prayers and bless us with a heart like yours, full of love and compassion, so that like you, we may serve our Heavenly Father, who lives and reigns with Jesus your Son, and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Starting from today, in the evening, from 6 to 7, Holy Communion will be distributed 
in the place near the sacristy. Children are also encouraged to come to receive communion. This is a time when we talk of the love of giving. And so this year, as we will collect rice, sugar, cooking oil and soaps, these will be distributed later to the needy of our community. We thank and praise the Lord for blessing us in so many ways and during this novena, let this be our special intention that the Lord, through the intercession of Our Lady, may guide our world and bring healing, especially during this time of the pandemic. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, we thank you and praise you for the gift of your Son, Jesus, to us. We thank you for Mary, his mother, and as she accepted your will in her life, we pray that we may be strengthened and nourished to accept your will in ours. Bless every effort of ours to proclaim the message of your love in every relationship that we share. Guard us and protect us and keep us safe. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lightened by the word we've heard, to the world we all must go. Nourished by the bread of life, to the world we go. All together in one love and faith, seeking ever to be true. You will guide us on the path, O Lord of eternity.